opening night of the Phuket Fringe Festival, and of course Tony the Elephant is here. A number of world cities have added to their reputations over the years by holding arts festivals with an associated fringe festival for the fun stuff. Think of Edinburgh and, for that matter, Adelaide in South Australia, where the founder of this festival comes from. How did the concept come about? Well, one night uh, there was a group of us here having a few drinks in the beer garden and we all realised that we had a common interest, which was basically the performing arts at, every diff at all different levels. Do you think Phuket has been waiting for this Fringe Festival and will it grow into an international event? I think as a result of the excitement that us as performers and the community will be able to achieve in the, te in the next in the 10 days of our festival that we will open the eyes to the rest of the world and that I hope that that will draw people in and that certainly for next year and the year after that the Phuket Fringe eventually will be as highly regarded as the Edinburgh Fringe and the Adelaide Fringe. <coughs> a perfect small theatre upstairs to present Phuket talent both established and new. How long have they been training? They've been training now for, for this particular show probably six months. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've been over here on the island only for four years as the dance teacher, but uh, you know, when you see them, it's quite amazing. And I think that's another exciting thing for the Fringe, that uh, we, we will become an educational tool too. Uh, uh, many of the people who have been involved, our teachers, we have Anjan Parani involved. Uh, so I think many doors will open for people to find out more about the performing arts. The versatile stage of the Playhouse in Patong was a deluxe setting on another night for the music of DJ Kenjo, combining the electronic and the acoustic with an entrancing effect. Two poets offered solo performances under the title of Tongues and Tales. Graham O'Connell cleverly created a conversation for one that deftly utilised the names of multiple countries. Hi. <laughs> Ken, you're back here on the Ivory Coast again with your South African missus, I see. It was Ben and his mate Chad, old friends of mine from Australia, and they were with this hot girl, Libby. Yeah, what a looker she was. And Denise Bertrand artfully imagined a portrait of a jungle boy. Jungle boy. This was the largest canvas she ever attempted to design, the six by six, as she was standing one meter in front of it. jungle boy she had painted yesterday was not in focus. When this all was beginning with, with David in the Fringe, that I had put out that if anybody wanted to come forward and tell a personal story, but maybe sometimes they don't know how, and I can yeah. train them or also tell their story. Because there's a lot of people out there that have really great personal stories, yeah. and sometimes storytelling evenings can be just personal stories as well. Ah, never mind. I'll bring you forward today with my hands. She squeezed Sienna Brown onto her fingers and started to massage the chest of the jungle boy. Another young resident of Phuket went on location to tackle the nationwide phenomenon of Songkran as a background to his proposition for the challenge of selling matches in the water throwing festival. Film was also the medium for A and Night sometime, in the Bar Room by Simon Hand, a tale of love found and lost in Phuket, and the wisdom that flows when philanderers face up to their predicament over a drink or two. You can take the girl out the bar. But, but what? 
Malcolm Barry brought humour to the fringe with his take on living in Phuket. Here on the soil where they dig As I stop and stare They don't bother me I can lick the muddy puddles Till I reach Big Sea I'll buy mountain gear Then I'll have no fear Climbing here on the soil where they dig The Andaman players rehearsed and ready for the premiere performance of Time Shared. The play proceeded to weave a tale of suspect salesmanship and investor avarice. Is there a problem with crime in Phuket? I hadn't realized. No, 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 no. You're in the new play as well during the festival? Yes, 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 I'm in that, yes. And I get to wear a woman's dress. So That's no all more. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of my contract. <laughs> Unable to open a dodgy door, the group is obliged to improvise sleeping arrangements. Are the builders here? Good. I hope it was a good feeling, was it, to get your play on? Yeah, it was pretty amazing, you know, it's been a lot of work. Um, yeah, you really couldn't expect anything better from a professional crew, really. They're just the best bunch of actors, and we pretty much threw this entire production together in in just over six weeks, so that's, uh, that's pretty amazing. They're rather privileged to have their own playwright, wouldn't you say, David? Absolutely, absolutely, as is Phuket, as is Phuket. No, really wonderful evening, and Simon and his actors, 10 out of 10 for them, fantastic work. Do you feel he's promoting the name of Phuket, David? Without doubt, without doubt, without doubt. We firmly have our the wheels of our train on the track for the Phuket Fringe. So look out, Phuket, what's out there next year is going to wow you. The entertainment and artistry continued for nine days at the first Phuket Fringe Festival. We have fashion shows, cultural exchanges, art exhibitions. Really, we think that there'll be something for everybody here on the island.